Disney Pixar Toy Story, a tight squeeze. It was early one morning and Andy had just left for school. The toys were ready to have some fun, so Woody told them all about a game they could play. It's called sardines, he explained. It's like hide and seek. Except when you find the hider, you hide with them and wait for someone else to find you both. <laughs> the next toy to find you hides with you too, and so on and so on. Get it? So, by the end of the game, we are all hiding together in one spot, Jesse the cowgirl asked. Woody nodded. Right, he said. Except for the last toy, who is still looking for the hiders. In the next game, that toy is the one who hides. The toys decided that Ham the piggy bank would be the one to hide. Woody told the other toys to close their eyes and count to 25. Meanwhile, Ham hurried off to find a good hiding place. With seconds to spare, he spotted one of Andy's old lunch boxes, hopped inside, and closed the lid. The first toy to open the lunchbox lid was Woody. <laughs> His eyes lit up when he saw Ham inside. Making sure no one was watching him, he hopped inside and shut the lid. Soon the lid, the lid opened again. It was Jesse. She wedged herself between Ham and Woody and shut the lid again. <laughs> Buzz opened the lunchbox next and hopped inside. But he couldn't get the lid to close, no matter how hard he tried. By the time Rick found the hiders, the lunchbox was completely full. Soon the rest of the toys were hurrying toward the overstuffed lunchbox. Oh well, said Woody with a laugh. They found us. I guess this game is over. Everybody out. One by one, the toys tumbled out of the lunchbox and gathered around Ham. Gosh, Ham, couldn't you have picked the bigger hiding place? <laughs> Rex asked. <laughs> well, yeah, Ham replied. But isn't the point of the game to get squished like sardines in a can? The toys thought that over. They realized he was right. From then on, every time the toys played sardines, the hider made sure to pick a small hiding place just to keep things interesting. <laughs> the end.